I used to hate writing scripts for my YouTube videos. I would create a very brief outline in the notes app on my phone and just have kind of a bulleted list of things I wanted to talk about. I wrote down what my opening hook would be, a brief introduction, what I was gonna talk about in that video, and then wrap it up with a big call to action at the end. But very little of it was actually written down. I usually wrote down the opening hook because I wanted to make sure that I said exactly what I wanted to say at the start of the video in order to grab their attention. But the rest of my script was just a bullet point outline. I would wing it so it sounded very natural, but the downside was I made a million mistakes and it took three times as long to film a 10 minute long video as it really should have. Then I discovered a killer way to script a video bought myself some hardware and made my life a million times easier. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I script my videos, the equipment that I'm using to make the whole thing go so much easier. And I'm going to even have a little bonus for you if you don't want to buy any new hardware. Does anyone else move their hands as much as I do when filming a video? I'm Karen. And if we haven't met yet, I am a realtor turned real estate coach because I've discovered that cold calling really sucks and friends don't let friends cold call. I discovered an amazing way to generate new clients for my real estate business and it was so effective that I just had to share. You're welcome. If you are not yet making video content to drive traffic to your business, what are you waiting for? A written invitation? Come on! You are missing a golden opportunity. I mean, how much longer are you gonna wait before you jump on this gravy train? Come with me, I promise it's not that bad. Don't believe me? This report from Cisco said that by the year 2022, 82% of all web traffic would be video. Guess what? It's 2022. Time to do it. It's not nearly as hard as you think it is, and I'm gonna show you how easy it can actually be so that you get off the sidelines and get in the game. So let's jump on over to my computer and I will show you my secret method for scripting out videos to make my video creation process a breeze. I use a free workflow software program called Trello for my video workflow. I brain dump any ideas for videos in here. I script them out. I brainstorm titles and thumbnail ideas with my channel manager, and I send them off for editing all inside of Trello. You can do this with Asana or Monday or ClickUp or even a Google Doc or the Notes app on your computer. It doesn't have to be Trello, but Trello is what I use. Then my life was changed forever when I learned that I could just go to the Apple menu on my Mac and hit dictate. Oh my gosh, I think my brain exploded when I found out that I could do that. Now all I have to do is hit the control key on my keyboard twice in a row and it starts the microphone. I can literally dictate into this podcasting microphone that I have on my desk and dictate my entire script. Why is this so life-changing? Because A, it is so much faster. I can speak about three times faster than I can type. And I don't make 800 mistakes when I'm speaking like I do when I'm typing. It also sounds so much more natural. Have you ever noticed if you write a speech and then you read it back, it sounds very formal and stilted. But if I were to dictate my entire speech, when I read it back, it would sound 100% natural because that's the way that I would actually say it. Writing and speaking are not necessarily the same thing. So it sounds better, it's faster, and it's easier. That's a win, win, win in my book. When I'm done dictating, I now have it transcribed in Trello already. Again, you could use Google Docs or Evernote, whatever you want to use. Once it's there, I can access it from my phone, my iPad, my laptop. And if it's not complete, I can work on it from multiple devices. Once my script is 100% complete, I simply highlight the entire thing. I hit copy. Then I open the teleprompter app on my iPad and hit paste. Here is what my teleprompter looks like. Now I resisted using a teleprompter for a very long time because it sounded so unnatural when I used it, but I finally ended up buying one because I was doing my five day challenge. And if you've ever tried to live stream with 700 people on a call with you, it is really difficult to look at the camera 
and make eye contact with the viewer and remember what to say and remember to check the chat so that you can comment and answer questions and share your screen and do the slide presentation and remember all of the things that you're supposed to say during a live stream. It is hard, y'all. I broke down and bought myself a teleprompter just to make my life easier. And by the way, my five-day challenge is going to be coming up. It's starting on Halloween of 2022. So if you want to get on that wait list and be notified when we start again, I'll link to that down below. But back to the teleprompter. I wanted to look at the camera as much as possible, but also know what to say. And if I was reading my notes on a piece of paper, then I'm not looking at the camera, right? I'm looking down at my piece of paper not making eye contact with the viewer. But it was not until I realized that I could dictate the script that everything changed. It became so much more natural sounding. And when I sit down to record videos, I don't make a million mistakes anymore because I have the script right in front of me. This particular teleprompter uses an app. And I'm probably going to butcher the pronunciation. I think it's called In May. I downloaded it from the Apple App Store. Then I just paste my script into it. I open it on my iPad and I place my iPad on the tray directly in front of the teleprompter. The words on the iPad are reflected onto the glass above and it appears directly in front of the camera lens. I will link to all of this equipment down below if you're in the market for a teleprompter or a camera or anything else like this. If you're wanting to use a teleprompter app without buying a big piece of equipment, then the Big View teleprompter app is for you. So let me just give you some real time examples. It is currently 11 a.m. Eastern time. On my personal calendar, I time blocked an hour and a half to record four videos. I am recording this video, which is number three. I was able to write all of my scripts by dictating them into Trello in advance. I did that on another day. If you want to see my video about how I time block all of my stuff, I will link to that up here as well. So I wrote the scripts one day. They were all ready for me. And then I knew today was filming day. So I wake up in the morning. I get camera ready. I do my hair. I do my makeup. I put on clothes. I know that I have an hour and a half time blocked on my calendar to record videos. And as you've heard me say a million times before, I do not cancel this appointment to go meet with a client because this is an appointment. So if I had a listing presentation scheduled for 11 a.m. and I got another listing presentation who wanted to also do it at 11 a.m., I would not cancel the first seller to go meet with the second seller, right? We don't do that. We don't cancel an existing appointment to meet with somebody better. And I would argue that when you set aside an hour and a half to record videos, this is some of the most important appointment time you will have in your business because this video has the potential to bring you a lot more than one listing. It has the potential to bring you client after client after client, year after year after year. So we do not cancel our appointments to go meet with somebody else better. We don't step over a dollar to pick up a dime. By being able to script it all out in the simplest way possible and then film in the simplest way possible keeps me on course so that I don't stop doing it because I got too busy and I didn't have time. And that is the excuse that I hear from people over and over and over again is I'm so busy I don't have the time. I want it to be perfect and if I can't make it perfect then I'm not going to do it at all. This basically wipes out all of your excuses. If you can plan in advance and make it easy on yourself, what's your next excuse going to be? Because I'm going to shoot that one down too. If you have never attended my five-day challenge, I highly recommend that you come. We are going to start on October 31st, 2022. I will go live five days in a row for about an hour where I'm going to help you overhaul your YouTube channel so that you can start getting actual paying clients from your videos. So if that sounds like something that you would be interested in, I will put the link down below, get on the wait list so that as soon as we're ready to have everybody sign up, we'll let you know right away.